Happy New Year! I can't believe it's 2019. That is insane. I hope you've had a fantastic New Year's Eve and you are ready and raring to go to kickstart 2019. And that's the whole reason for this video today is I want to talk about how to set goals for life mastery. Now, I've actually created a goal setting planner for you. I will leave a link in the description box and that's what I'm going to take you through. So go click on that link and download that spreadsheet and we will get stuck straight into it because if you're anything like me, you're probably very excited that it's the new year and it just feels like a bit of a fresh start to really hone in and focus on those big goals that you want to achieve this year. So let's jump onto the computer and get straight into it. So once you have the goal setting plan open, you just want to come up and click on file and then go make it a copy so that it is able to be editable for you. Once you've done that, it's just looking through the spreadsheet and getting familiar with it. So we're actually going to be setting goals across the seven areas of life, which is health, wealth, wisdom or mind, business or career, social leadership, and spirituality. So those are the seven areas of life that if you really want to master your life, then you need to be setting goals in each of these areas. Now, you might find that you're more connected to certain ones. So maybe social leadership might be a bit of a challenge for you to complete, but wisdom or career or wealth those are things that you know are really important to you and this is going to be easier for you to complete those sections. So there's no real formal way that you need to go through and complete this spreadsheet. You might actually jump around a little bit here and there. Pick out the ones that you're more comfortable with so you can get yourself into a flow and then that way when you get to the ones that might be a little bit more challenging for you then at least you'll be in that mindset where you're already in that mode of thinking. For example, some people may not even know what they want to do with their spirituality or even what their beliefs are. So maybe in five years time, maybe the vision is that you really have a deep understanding of all different types of religions, all different types of beliefs, and you have your own thoughts about what your beliefs are and you're very strong in those beliefs. And if that's in five years time and you're sort of starting out with, you don't really have any idea, then maybe in 2019, it's really about researching. So maybe you want to research religion or beliefs regarding spirituality. And then once you do that for each one, so you should have these two cells filled out under each area of life. So it may take you a little bit of time, particularly if you haven't really thought about where you want to be in each of those aspects. But most successful people will actually know what their legacy is going to be when they leave this earth. So thinking in five years time, that's nothing compared to people thinking of like hundreds or even thousand years in advance. So do what you can, put as much detail as you possibly can in each of the cells. And then once they're completed, you can then come through and determine what you need to do for each quarter. So let's use wealth as an example. So maybe in five years time, you want at least 12 months of income saved as a security fund. To go down, if you hit enter, it'll actually take you to the next cell like that. If you want to go to a new line on a Mac, you just hit control return. And maybe another goal is that you will be an avid investor. So what that means for 2019 goals is that maybe you just need to set up and start consistently saving and investing money. So consistently save and invest money. But be detailed here. So figure out what your income is, 
figure out how much you want to save and invest. I've done previous videos all about budgeting and how to manage your money. So I will leave those linked below in the description box for you. So you can go have a look at those. But let's say you want to have 100K saved by the end of the year. I know that's a lot of money, but go with me. Then what you want to do is once you have that detail in where you want to be in five years time, then what are your goals in 2019 that are supporting your bigger vision for five years or 10 years, or maybe your legacy, what you want to leave behind. And then we want to figure out each quarter, what is your goal for that quarter and what action do you need to take to make that a reality? So maybe in your first quarter, which is your first three months or 90 days, which you could pretty much deem as like a run or a sprint. So work yourself in those three month periods. So quarter one could be that you want to uh, start a savings account and invest 10%. You wanna also start an investing account <coughs> and save 10%. So the actions as a result of that is you obviously need to investigate the best savings accounts for best return on interests, interest rates, I should say. The next one should be open two times accounts, one for savings and one for investing. When I say savings, I mean that would be like your security fund. So you can even change that to security if you like. Then you will want to set up automatic transfers to those accounts. So you've done that. If that isn't big enough, just pull that down. It'll make it bigger or you can come up here and make the column wider to make it fit in. So quarter two. So in quarter one, you've set up your accounts, you've set up your automatic transfers. Now in quarter two, maybe what you want to do is increase the amount of money that you're saving and investing. So let's say goal is to increase saving and investing by 5%. So what are the actions as a result of that? First thing is I would set a reminder at the beginning of quarter two to up the percentage by 5%. Then the second one would be to actually do that. So you want to amend automatic transfers to 15% each. And you keep going on like that. So then that way you've got a focus point for each quarter of the year with an ultimate end goal, which is going to be your 2019 goals here. Now you want to do that for each of these. So you want to be able to sit down and think about ultimately, where do I want to be with my health? What major goals do I need to set for this year to be able to do that? And then break it out into your quarters so that you're not feeling overwhelmed with information or things that you feel like you need to do. So go through, fill it out for health, wealth, wisdom, and mind. Maybe in five years time, you want to hold your own seminars like Tony Robbins. So for you to be able to do that for this year, what do you need to do to be able to reach that goal in five years time? And then in each quarter, what do you feel you need to do to be able to support that? So maybe that's, it could be reading a book every week. Maybe you really need to up your game on that. Or it could be seeking out a mentor and investing in them one-on-one -on -one mentoring or even one of their courses or just their online trainings, whatever it is that you can get your hands on. Maybe you want to go to a seminar. If you love Tony Robbins and you feel that that is going to be your future, go to his seminars, look at what he does, learn and absorb and as much information as you possibly can. Next one is your business or career. So where do you want to be in five years time? How can you support that by your goals for this year? 
again with social leadership. So this could be how can you impact the public? If you are someone that wants to have a business, particularly in like social media or just an online business, social leadership is pretty much setting your own personal brand within yourself. And then how can you give more to the people? So they could be things like creating a YouTube channel and providing valuable information for free. It might be Facebook lives. It could be Instagram stories, Snapchats. Maybe you want to create your own weekly newsletter that needs to go out. Anything like that where you're actually giving back in a leadership role. And then obviously spirituality, we sort of talked about that. Now these goals can be as big as you want, as small as you want, whatever is going to be true to you. And that's where it's really important to understand what really matters to you and what your life purpose is. Because you don't want to be setting massive, massive goals in your wealth and then your business but then you notice that you're actually needing to invest that money into your business. Whereas you did originally have a plan to be investing into the Forex market or the stock market. You need to make sure that all your goals are in alignment as well. That's really important to do. Now, if you do scroll over, you will see there's another section here for habits. Now I'm not going to go into that this time around. That's actually going to come in via the next video. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. My very next one is going to talk about the habits that you can implement to help you support you in your goals in achieving them. And the one after that is going to be ways that you can make sure that you're actually succeeding in your goals. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and tick that notification bell so you can get notified when those videos go live, I will leave a link for you here. Just my little face there. If you want to click on that, that will allow you to subscribe to my channel until those videos go live. I will leave a couple of other videos on this side for you that you may be interested in until then take care and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.